How do you feel about artists copying the work of other artists? Um, so I've never had that happen to me. And I'm kind of sad about it because I feel a little broken. So I encourage people to copy me. <laughs> <laughs> I would let you answer that. That's not really a good look at all. I think it's massively disrespectful. Well, nobody likes that. That's like a no-no. That's a no-no. That's a big no-no. You gotta put some effort into it, make changes, make it your own. I think you should be creative in your own work and you should definitely be original with your stuff. There was a chess piece where the guy took a reference to somebody and they even tattooed the nipple on it and I was just like, oh my God. Oh, I did see recently there was a, um, what was it, a Alice in Wonderland. Somebody ripped off an Alice in Wonderland tattoo, half color on top, half the bottom where she was eating a tab of acid and it was so wrecked. Somebody copied the tattoo, but they copied the top of the cat ears from the tattoo that was underneath it as well. Oh. So it looked like it was a bra. Oh my God. Sometimes I get a little bummed out. Um, especially if I see a lot of people commenting onto it like, oh my god, that's a great design, that's amazing, and then I'm just like, but I made it. If you're going to call that person an artist, then you should rethink that because they are really just a thief. The people that create the work are, are artists, and the people that copy it would just be considered tattooers, you know? I always say there's like tattooers and tattoo artists, and I think tattooers are not so much into this for the art side of it. They're just tattooing for whatever reason they have. And then tattoo artists, they actually care about the, the artwork and they want their own signature to be out there, you know? There's nothing cooler than someone recognizing your work because they just recognize that it's yours, that you did it. That shit makes me mad. Like, I plan something out for somebody else and we're in the process of doing it and the artist just take the whole fucking shit and just... Sure thing. You know, that shit makes me mad because I really planned that out. Like I really made everything flow, put the light in, and then you just come and do the same sleeve. And because you did it for a hundred bucks, you got it done quicker. And I'm just like, mother It's disrespectful for the artist, but also it's not cool for the client. Like they just paid for like a custom tattoo. Especially when you have a tattoo that's really catered to somebody's story, which is how I work. Um, somewhat disrespectful to the client who pays a lot of money and, and really puts their soul into telling me their story so I can create the art for them. I have clients that have gone through very traumatic experiences and that tattoo is something so important to them. That's their way of healing. And then somebody takes that away from them by taking their own personal story and implanting it on somebody else who doesn't know the deep meaning of it. It might feel like it's devaluing the original experience of the person who got it first. The tattoos that I do on someone are not mine. You know, it's not my tattoo. I did the tattoo and I made the thing, but you know, it's theirs. And so if someone copies it, for me, it's flattering because my work was good enough that someone wanted a copy of it. But for the client, that sucks because they wanted something that no one else has, and now that's not the case. Have you ever had work that's on you get copied? Yeah, all the time. <laughs> uh, I unfortunately have like famous tattoos on me. For example, the toilet that my friend Oscar did. I mean, it is kind of offensive to see somebody that just sloppily traced one of your tattoos and posted it and is putting it up as their own work. But there's a fine line between that and somebody who just really looks up to you and they love your work and they want to learn how I'm doing that. And, you know, maybe they're just starting at the bottom and they're like, okay, well, I like his work. I'm going to try and replicate it as best I can. My past, I'm guilty of this. Like, you know, you don't know any better. You're uneducated. And, you know, you look to inspiration from these other artists and you, you know, you want to be like them, you know, especially when you're coming up. A lot of people, you know, message me, you know, they say I inspire them a lot and they don't try to cut my work they try to use my work and as a reference for for their, their work you're so fresh you're trying to develop your own style your own look and you go well I really like the way that this guy you know does his roses or whatever you know what I mean and then you kind of have inspiration from that um, but at a certain point either one someone someone puts you in check and tells you calls you out on it and says you need to calm down with that shit. You know what I mean? Which, you know, it happened to me the first couple of years and it's it's humbling 
and you, you you learn from it and you can either be a dick and just be like super spiteful and angry about it or you can grow from it and move forward and progress. If they do that, so they like your style, so they want to be like you and maybe they're gonna first copy you and then they're gonna find their own style, so maybe it's not too bad, so... I think it's been done forever, not just in tattooing, but in an art in general, so I don't dislike it. I just wish that more people gave credit. A lot of times I see people, they, you know, copy other, um, not tattoo artists, but artists' works, you know, illustrators and cartoonists, and they don't tag the the artist in it. And I'm guilty for it too, like there's a couple times where I didn't know where I got this reference from, but I, I in, in the caption I'll actually write like, hey, if you know who did this, I'd like to tag them in it, you know? I feel like as an artist, oftentimes you can be put in a position where you're almost forced to do it. Either someone comes in with the original drawing from some other tattoo artist and you didn't know necessarily that it was another tattoo artist's work. Personally, I don't even like it when people send me a lot of reference pictures because that means they're really stuck on the way they want it to turn out. If they send me references of my work, then I'm then it's okay. But if they send me references of a lot of other artists, I'm like, well, maybe you should go to them. Have you seen your own tattoos copied? I, yeah, I saw a lot. Okay, so someone did copy my work one time. My artwork has been copied. Been a little bit flattered, a little offended, but you know, it happens. How'd it look? Terrible. Terrible. And that person tried coming to me to get it fixed, and I say, you should have just came to me in the first place. Now you're gonna spend twice a month. There's this amazing cat photographer, Andrew Martila because he is also of Finnish roots. I tattooed his Bengal cat on him, and oh boy, his cat is worldwide on people now. <laughs> I didn't necessarily mind. Um, if anything, instead of like kind of getting upset with the people, I just gave them a critique. And I was like, this is how you could actually make that better. I think it's because um, I'm here, right, uh, in America, and some people from Russia, from Europe, they want like the same tattoos, and they're trying to find some artist who's gonna do it, and I think, yeah, so they cannot come to America and get it, and that's why it happened as well. <laughs> I have seen my art copied very many times. Uh, a lot of it's just coming from South America and Brazil, and it's funny because like, I get tagged and stuff all the time, and I actually get tagged by the artist that copied it. And they go, hey, what do you think of this? So apparently down in South America and Colombia and Brazil, it's an honor. Like it's totally a different, you know, it's a different culture down there. Honestly, at the end of the day, take it as a compliment. If somebody's copying your work, you're doing something right. No, I'm fine. They can copy me. <laughs> I'm good. Shit like that, like, it's like flattering to me. Like it's like, sure thing. it's like, wow, you know, wow, he really took the time out to copy me, fing asshole. You know, to, to copy someone else's work is kind of like the greatest form of flattery. I wish I'd see more of my work copied because I think that there's something flattering about it. I take it as like a sign of respect. It's like almost like, thank you. <laughs> I guess I'm good enough that you can copy me now. It's all about like taking it respectfully. You know what I mean? Like you still have to take it and like put your own flavor on it. From the beginning of art times, we all know of art from references. We know how to draw a bird because we know what a bird looks like, or we know what a bird is drawn like. Same situation for everything else. Anybody who says that they don't copy to an extent is a liar. I think the whole, like I, I can tell you like my style is like, I mean, every good artist, like they, they, they saw somebody do something. You know what I mean? Like they, they've picked pieces from like this person, like everybody, every good artist is kind of just like a melting pot of like, you know, all the experiences they've had. Like, I know certain people that have like, I'm like, that's a really cool like little like touch you added, like, or like the way you do your background, the way you do like filigree. I'm like, that's dope. I'm gonna incorporate that with this. You know what I mean? If you're doing it exactly, I mean, especially don't, don't do that. You know, be creative. That's why you're an artist. Make up your own stuff. Don't steal, it's not nice. You know, but there's so much shit going on nowadays. I'm worried about that. Like, I don't even pay shit like that no more. Right, really right, right. don't. So if I show you the pooch tattoo that Polly did, you guys would still be friends? Yeah, that's my dude. I mean, yeah. That's my <laughs> dude. <laughs> He's like, yeah. Thank you. Hello. Oh, hello. I'm too short for this chair. <laughs>
So, we have a theme song in the beginning, like any good show, I'm gonna show you. So do I gotta guess what show it is? No, no. no. You're gonna we, be part of it, you have to do it. something. What? We've had people flex, give a thumbs up, wave, turn around. You're on a show now. Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing right now. So you need to sit in the chair and do something fun with your helmet for 10 seconds. Something like that. Oh, I'll just go like this. Is it recording right now? So we just have one more thing for you to do. Oh, that's actually kind of what I oh, would love. Lion King gun? <laughs> You don't like that shit. <laughs> he gets scared, you get too high off the ground. You should feel his, his heart beating right now. He's like, perfect. I guess so. I'm that big of a nerd that I actually carry an in inhale. I used to have I used to have it on a gold chain. It's <laughs> so cool. Yeah, I love it. Oh, you look great. That's it. Oh, uh, keep it going. That's it. Do it a couple times. Big out to all my fans, my followers. You guys keep me beautiful. Wonderful job. That was funny, dude. That was alright. <laughs>